congressional approval, and Harris's team says it would work with Congress on a proposal that comes with, quote, an income limit and with strict requirements to prevent hedge fund managers and lawyers. Understood. That's very all real quick. But Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders is going to get further. Give her a blind object. Oh, 
sometime today the IV heparin and put him on the injections in the stomach um, of Lovinox, uh, which will also help them uh, not have to check his blood levels uh, multiple times a day. Um, they are getting uh, blood cultures now. Um, again, to check on the infection in his blood to make sure that the antibiotic they have him on is taking care of the problem. Um, they are going to do some tests uh, tomorrow because it is it is Sunday um, to see and make sure that, you know, the... the Infection isn't lingering in, you know, the heart um, because they could go ahead and, and take care of it throughout the body and the heart just keep pumping it through the body. So um, I guess it, it gets up in there and, and the antibiotics can't get to it. And um, so they're going to run some of those tests tomorrow. So when he first came into the hospital, um, he couldn't breathe. He was white as a ghost when he came out of the bathroom um, at home. And so we, I tried to drive him to the ER. He couldn't make it to the car. So I called 911 from the driveway. But the ER doctor, when they got him in to do the test um, to suction the claw out, um, the doctor before they got him in for that test told him that they have a two hour window um, before his heart would go into heart failure. So that clot was putting so much stress on his heart um, that it would have went into heart failure if they couldn't get some relief um, in there. So when they went in and they tried to suction it out, they were um, able to only remove 20% of that clot. But it was just enough to get it out of the way of the blood flow to the lungs, which in turn allowed him um, to breathe better um, and um, not put that pressure on the heart. Um, so then they did a procedure on the clot in the leg to where they stuck a catheter down into the leg and they dropped a um, clot buster uh, blood thinner. Um, so it's like a blood thinner on steroids um, directly into that vein to break up that clot. Um, so they were able to do that and then um, what they did was they put in a balloon um, and it the balloon spread the clot to the sides of the vein to allow and open a roadway for the blood to go through to get that blood flow moving again. Um, so then they put him um, on the heparin drip and he's been on that since we've been here. And so that's supposed to dissolve the rest of that stuff in his lung um, and his foot. Um, and that could take months for that to happen all the way. Um, so, you know, once they take him off the heparin, they'll put him on the Lovenox shots. And then um, assuming when we go home, I believe it, they'll probably put him on some Coumadin um, unless there's something else they're using nowadays. Um, oh. 
so we are waiting for the infectious disease doctor to come in and talk to us about the actual blood infection. So he is not sepsis um, at the moment, so hopefully we caught it in time, um, and, and that's good. Um, and it's not a MRSA strain infection, so that's good. MRSA, of course, is antibiotic resistant. Um, so the infection that he does have is um, treatable. Um, and so that is um, wonderful news. Um, unfortunately, he will have to stay here for another four to five days. Um, so uh, that is where we are. Thank you. 